Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to address an email that I got last week. And basically what they were saying is that I recommend a lot of different tech tools on my YouTube channel, which is completely true. If they're just getting started as an online entrepreneur, which tools should they use? So in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five must have tech tools for new entrepreneurs. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. So if you're looking to do that, make sure that you hit subscribe. So this video is more geared towards service-based entrepreneurs or those that are launching digital products such as ebooks, courses, or online coaching programs. And the best thing about these tools is that you can get up and running with just these five and start getting customers right away. All right, so tool number one is my absolute favorite and that is Squarespace. This is what I recommend that you use in order to build your website, which is going to be your digital home and where everything happens online. With Squarespace, you can blog, you can share new content, you can collect email subscribers, you can sell digital products. There's so much that you can do with this tool and with its awesome drag and drop functionality, you don't have to do any coding whatsoever either. So I absolutely love it. And I actually have a free guide on getting you started with Squarespace. So I will leave a link to that in the description below. So now that you have your website, you need a way to collect email subscribers, which are basically a list of people that are interested in what you do and that you can later sell to. If budget is an issue for you, then you can definitely get started with MailChimp, which is free up to 2000 subscribers. However, it is a bit clunky and difficult to use. So as soon as you start getting into online marketing more, or if you're blogging a lot and giving away a lot of different freebies in exchange for that email address, then I would quickly upgrade to ConvertKit, which is $29 per month, but totally worth it because they make it so much easier for you to handle your subscribers and do all these cool, more complex things. Tool number three is Canva. So Canva is a free graphic design tool for non-designers and it makes it incredibly easy for you to create gorgeous professional looking graphics. So this is going to come in handy for any of the visuals that you need to create for your online business, such as social media graphics, promo graphics, even your logo. You can do all of this with Canva. In another video, I did recommend upgrading to Canva for work, which has a lot of awesome features, but if you're just getting started, the free plan will work great for you as well. All right, so tool number four is G Suite, and this is how you're going to get a professional looking email address. So rather than using your existing Gmail or your Hotmail, you're actually going to have your name at yourdomain.com. Speaking of which, I didn't mention your domain, and that's because you can just do that within Squarespace. It's really easy, you just have to purchase it, um, so don't even worry about that. G Suite is great because it also comes with a whole suite of tools from Google, such as your Google Calendar, Drive, and Docs. So that's gonna keep your business organized as well. And lastly, the fifth tool that I recommend that you have when you're just getting started is an accounting software. My favorite is QuickBooks Online, and this is going to allow you to keep track of your money from day one, keep your books in order, and also invoice any clients that you get. If you're just selling digital products, you can easily do that within Squarespace. So with these five tools, you're good and ready to go. So of course, these are just the basic tools. Start paying attention whenever you get too busy in your business or things are taking up too much time, then that's a sign that you need to implement even more systems and make sure that you do that before you get too busy. If you have any questions at all about what system you should use for your business, just leave it for me in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys soon with another video.